Hello, my name is Vlado. Welcome to the CCTV Academy. In this episode, I will talk to you about the depth of field of CCTV lenses. Every CCTV camera needs a lens to produce an image. The lens is the first and most important part of a television system. If the lens is no good, you will have not better picture. Lenses have number of settings. In my hands, I'm holding a manual zoom lens. And as most CCTV installers and technicians would know, we've got auto iris, manual iris, zoom lenses, very focal. But each one of them has an iris. The iris is the opening in the lens that defines how much light that lens transmits to the imaging chip. The smaller the opening is, the higher the f-stop is, the less light falls onto the CCD chip. Now, if it is a manual lens like the one I'm holding in my hand, obviously it is a setting that a person can do for purposes of testing or maybe leaving it at a fixed f-stop all the time, which is the name of the opening. We usually refer to that as f-stops. F-stops are number that go from low, such as in this instance 1.0, up to, for example, in this case, f22. If the lens has got automatic iris, these numbers may not be visible, but the important thing is that automatic iris varies the opening of the iris, therefore the amount of light falling on the CCD chip is different. So what is so important about this iris? Well, not only it reduces the amount of light, but indirectly it affects the so-called depth of field. And depth of field is, in my opinion, uh, an effect that not many CCTV people understand, especially the younger ones. So I would like to explain what it means and how it affects the CCD uh, image, the CCD chip image. The more light you transmit to the imaging chip, meaning the bigger the opening is of the iris, the smaller, the narrower the depth of field is. When the depth of field is narrow, there is no problem if you have properly focused your camera to the object. But in CCTV, we have an effect of that uh, if the back focus is not done properly, which is the function of adjusting the lens relative to the imaging chip, then the depth of field may be okay at daytime simply because the auto iris has closed the, the f-stop, therefore produced very wide depth of field and everything looks sharp. What happens at night, very often, because of the misalignment of the back focus, you may have the focus of where you want to be to actually be shifted, either forward or back into the, into the distance. In order to do that properly, there are many procedures that people are recommending. There are many books, installation manuals, but it is important to know that the manual lens adjusted to a camera has to be adjusted to the actual distance of the CCD chip, meaning the back focus has to be adjusted if you want the image to be sharp all the time. The depth of field may affect your image not only if the back focus is not, not done properly, but it could also affect the clarity of the image if you have infrared light in your system. Infrared lights and infrared frequencies are longer than the visible light, and because of the simple optical rule of refraction, they focus their image behind the plane of the imaging chip. In order to avoid such problems, it is necessary to have either infrared corrected glass on the lens, or if such lenses are not available, or your lens is not with infrared corrected glass, you need to have a mechanism on the camera that will make the point of focusing of these infrared rays to fall exactly on the CCD or CMOS imaging chip. That is done by either having a mechanism to move the imaging chip or perhaps have a glass in front of the imaging chip that will correct the point of focusing of the infrared rays. The depth of field should be always considered with your CCTV installation. Of course, it will be much easier if you have pan tilt zoom camera that has already pre-built and pre-adjusted zoom lens in the factory, where back focus probably will not be a problem at all. But always be aware that even with fixed lenses, your setting of the back focus and depth of field 
plays vital role in the sharpness of your image. Therefore, the whole system is affected by the quality of that setting and the quality of that lens. That was it for this edition of the CCTV Academy, and I hope to see you soon again. All the best.